Howdy everybody, it is Monday the 22nd of February 2021. We've had a lot of snow, wind, rain, super cold temperatures, just been nasty so not a lot of stuff's been getting done around the farm here recently. I did get to spend the weekend with the grandkids and a lot of the family down at the Cousins restaurant in Buell, Idaho, affectionately known as Tractor's Grill. You have probably heard me talk about it before. They got pretty good food down there, Pilgrim. That they do. Anyway, um, the only big major news that we got to tell you about that's happened in the last week is this right here. There it is. We got us a new farm truck here at the farm. Well, it's nothing uh, real fancy. The upholstery needs to be completely redone and we're going to redo the dash and whatnot. There is 130,962 miles showing on that. There is no way that could be 230,000. The truck is just too straight for that. Uh, it even has all of the original floor mat in it. We need, do need to clean that up. Put a new uh, pedal pads on there and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, the old girl's really kind of surprised. She's a three on a tree, meaning this is a gear shift. It's not an automatic. It's a one, two, three and a reverse. So yeah, that's a little uh, different uh, deal there that we're going to deal with. It's a... Uh, Typical Ford 300 straight six in this thing. Uh, my son had one. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I've heard a lot about them. They ought to be good for 300,000 or so. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of new parts. There's a new battery in the machine here. Uh, and some new cables down yonder down there for the starter. It has a new clutch in it. Uh, it also has a new... Uh, master brake cylinder right there and a new ignition module so um, Yeah, plus with the new clutch. I think uh, we got a pretty good deal on the old girl I don't know if you can see it, but after putting it through its paces, there's quite a little bit of uh, Gunk on that dipstick. So yeah, and the oil's looking pretty dark So we're going to be doing a complete fluid change and flush on this thing It does sound like a typical uh, Ford 300 straight six. It's kind of dirty, so uh, now we got a pressure washer. We'll get in there and uh, clean that up, install some new plug wires, and uh, yeah, we'll make a runner out of this old girl. So yeah, we'll be doing a complete fluid flush, fill, drain, fill, whatever, you know, to get rid of everything out of the motor with new filters, the whole nine yards gas fuel uh pump filter the um, antifreeze is going to get changed out yeah so it's going to get a complete service before we put her into service so what did the dogless farmer say in the barn to the cow when his wife got mad at him and kicked him out of the house move over baby <laughs> Uh, there is the old clutch and uh, ignition module lay in there and a few other miscellaneous parts here and there. I don't know what we're going to find underneath this rubber mat. I don't ever care for those because everything rusts out underneath there. This bed could be absolutely shot. So, uh, yeah, as soon as we get the uh, title work back and whatnot, this thing's going to start getting some work done to it. One of the first things that's coming out is going to be this rubber mat. Well, it may not be the prettiest truck on the road, and it certainly isn't going to win any uh, speed or beauty contests, that's for sure. But uh, for an old farm truck, we think we got a pretty good deal on it. Uh, my son Skyler's kind of envious already of it and wishing he had got it. So, 
that says something for me anyway um yeah so anyway that's about it for now the weather has been atrocious we've had winds we've had snow we've had all sorts of junk so haven't had a lot done on the farm today uh well until today the last week has just been kind of hanging tight and hoping we don't blow away or get snowed in so anyway thanks for watching catch up with you later you know what to do about all the subscribe stuff down there and that so this dave you have a great and wonderful day